We'll start with the big news. To kick off the program, Jets defenseman Jacob Truba has been suspended two games for this hit on Ottawa's Mark Stone on Sunday. Truba received a minor penalty on the play for an illegal check to the head. Under the terms of the CBA, Truba will forfeit more than $33,000. So there you have the two games from Jacob Troopers. We kick off this edition of Hockey Central. Jeff Merrick alongside Hall of Famer Scott Morrison and former NHLer Colby Armstrong. Colby, I believe the Department of Players Safety has a training video featuring you exclusively. <laughs> so perhaps you are best suited to have first comment on the two game suspension. Well, yeah, and you know what? Looking at this hit for me with Truba, these are tough open ice hits, and this is where guys that do it do it really well. They have proper timing and they have good angles coming in to hit the guy. Here he's just ahead of him. He has a poor approach angle towards hitting him. And because of that, this could have been an all-time bone crusher. Oh. But he's just off and picks his head like that. Now he has a clean record in 262 games played, a guy that plays hard in Truba. He left the game, did Stone, but they're saying no apparent injury on the play, and that's why we have two games. Scotty, what do you think? Uh, two seems like a fair number for that hit, and there's uh, some comparables that you can match it up against. But uh, as Colby says, he doesn't have a history, but the principal point of contact was the head, and that's the punishment that comes attached. You know, you mentioned the comparables as well, and one of the things that comes to mind right away is Marco Scandella on Brock Nelson. This is from 2014. A similar play, the primary point of contact is the head. That netted Scandella a two-game suspension. This looks similar, if not identical, guys. Yeah, very much so. And for me, you know, I think it's the driving up. It's driving up into the guy's head on that play right there. Th that's Pearson on Davidson. That's from earlier on this year. The defenseman is stationary. That would be the difference there. But again, mm -hmm. that is a two-game suspension. That seems to be the cost of doing business for someone that hasn't been suspended before, but does that pick to the head. Now, if it happens again to a Truba, that yeah. number is going to be bigger. And see, I thought it was going to be three games for me personally because we didn't know uh, Stone's status. Now they're saying he left the game, but no injury was sustained yeah. as he make, uh, makes a road trip. So we'll, we'll see if he's back to play, but I think that's where it dropped to two. A lot of Winnipeg Jets fans, by the way, not exactly thrilled that Drew, Jacob Truba got two games for the hit because it wasn't that long ago that they saw Yevgeny Malkin right here hit Blake Wheeler. The difference, as we've been told, is the primary point of contact is not the head here, Colby Armstrong. Yeah, and I was here live for this one. Let me tell you, they were they were upset about it. Obviously, we see a little skirmish here. Stewart goes after Malkin. Uh, but yeah, that's, the, that's the, the point on that hit. He's bent over, but the primary point of contact, not moving his head, not targeting his head, was on the shoulder and through him. So that's where they came up with that. And it's such a fine line, and oh. you see why it's so difficult for the officials on the ice to figure out what kind of penalty to attach to At it. top speed. Yeah. yeah. At top speed, I mean. It's hard to slow, slow it down. down. I know, it's crazy, but it's you got to have perfect timing, and it's got to be just right. Otherwise, you got to lay off of it. We're really, sm we're really smart now. We get to throw, slow things down, right? <laughs> you know, you yeah. play. It's easy for me, yeah, until you get a call from the, from the, the, the player safety department.